Hey Pisces, what's up and welcome to your April reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your love and your support. I appreciate you and I hope that life is treating you well. We're going to see what messages need to come through for you in the month of April. See what you need to look out for. Overall, what you can expect. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. And yeah, let's get into this reading and let's see what April has in store for you, Pisces. Let's see. Show me clearly what's going on for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements in the month of April 2024. We have himself. We have the pook. What's going on for Pisces? The Rar and Singer of Transfiguration. There's something changing within you very like quickly, very suddenly, very unexpectedly. It's something going on within you, okay? Your mind, your heart, your spirit, all that's right connect connected, but like something is like flipping or something is like shifting. Like there's this intuition that you have, but it's like telling you something about yourself, telling you something about some sort of change in your mind or in your perspective or how you feel. Your emotions in April are definitely fluctuating and are very intense. With the RAR, this is really highlighting the, the strength and the passion and the intensity and even the singer of transfiguration like a lot of this is energetically and internally like there's it's not really in your physical environment where you're experiencing this is more to do with yourself how you feel how you process information what's going on internally and also just like energetically speaking you're going through a lot of changes a lot of shifts and like it's like fluctuating even like body weight water weight like some day, like you might have been witnessing that in your actual physical body like some days you're like more bloaty than others or like you know like you're just like showing up like in april you're extremely sensitive to these energetic shifts plus we're in eclipse season we got mercury retrograde so the vibes are pretty intense in pisces you're feeling it you're feeling it you're feeling it you're not crazy but yeah i'm also seeing like at the bottom of the deck like you have a decision that you're weighing out or you keep going back and forth or you keep fluctuating and your mind is just like constantly shifting sides, shifting perspectives. So Indy, she has a crouch and death. It's like you're kind of caught between. Okay, and this is also okay. Hold on. Oh my God, spirit, this is so much. <laughs> so you have like a again a big decision that you're going back and forth about, and how you feel about this. Even more information that's coming in. It's like you're constantly like flipping sides of okay, I'm gonna do this. No, I'm gonna do that instead. Maybe okay, no this, no that, no this. Like you know, it, it's getting a lot. It's like very confusing because there's like part of you that's like ready for a change, ready for something new, ready um, to expand. And then there's also part of you that's just like, no, like this needs to come to an end, death. Like I'm over it. Like let's let this be put to rest. Like let's move on from this. Like you're, you're pulled between a new beginning or ending something. I, I, well, every ending's a beginning. So like that makes sense. But you're, you're like, you're caught between, do I expand on this? Do I build on this? Do I stay in this position and just like take things deeper, more further? Or do I just let this go, change, transform and move on? Like, I don't know. And then there, I'm also seeing with Arvo Lari, like there's some things about communication and like there's the need for you to be honest. There's a need for you to like talk about these changes or these feels or this, you know, there's something you got to say or there's something someone has to say to you and then even underneath that we have lady of the harvest which is about endings but it's paired with x it's like happy endings happy endings or you are communicating you want a happy ending or like you want things to end on good terms or vice versa like that's something i'm kind of seeing here so i don't know if this is making sense to you just yet we have um yeah we have um there's just a lot. There's a lot of cards. I'm, I'm like, let's just let's switch decks and let's let's keep going because it's a little much. But yeah, so hmm, definitely month of change. Changes that you're going through within yourself, and it's making you look at things around you a little bit differently. It's having a big influence on your external reality. So let's keep going. What's going on for Pisces? Okay, this deck's ready. 
what's going on for Pisces in the month of April 2024. Dragonfly. Okay, that's all about new perspectives. Um, from having a cloudy, fuzzy vision to seeing things crystal clear. We also have the tarantula again, crossroads, a big decision, but deep down in your core, you know what to do or you know what you're going to choose. And then we have the earthworm, which is all about new beginnings, new cycles, new chapter. That's, oh, look. And then with the gazelle underneath, which is like your anxious, restless, like, you know, it's that indie energy of do I choose this path? Do I choose that path? Should I stick with this? Should I stick with that? You know, really over analyzing this choice you have the cobra you're, this is teaching you a lot whether you recognize it or not hold on i can't even these cards are stuck what the heck all right and the spider this is teaching you to have a lot of patience with yourself this is teaching you to have you to tr really trust and have faith even if it doesn't make sense right now even if you're having a difficult si time seeing the bigger picture um and you may be like over analyzing everything but it's teaching you to kind of go with the flow or to like let things unfold naturally. I feel like there's just this anticipation waiting for some sort of change or knowing like a big change is around the corner. And it's just kind of almost like a countdown and knowing that like this new beginning is going to happen. It's inevitable, but it, like it is also connecting to a choice. Like what you end up deciding does have influence on this new cycle. Like there is going to be a new cycle that you start in April, but it comes down to a choice you make. It's going to determine what cycle begins. You either repeat a cycle or you start a new cycle. It's either one or the other. You either stay in your current position or you move in a different position. Like it's like something like that and so with the dragonfly coming out it is saying that there's more information to come if things aren't crystal clear right now and you're feeling lost or you're feeling unsure and confused give it some time we are in also mercury retrograde and eclipse energy so right now it's intense the feels the vibes the energy in general it, it's just like unpredictable um i kind of feel like i should pull you a moonology card I, i'm feeling drawn to to grab you one of these i know it's been a while since i've given you a reading pisces and so yeah i'm like did i did i pull you a moonology card in your last reading i'm not sure it's been a minute it's been a couple weeks i apologize um but yeah let me just see what this eclipse is bringing for you we have the solar eclipse on the 8th of april in aries um yeah so let's see what is this eclipse bringing up for pisces show me clearly what are the themes coming up for pisces in april what can pisces expect well that was fast and that knocked my crystal we have balance spirituality practicality here this is your energy pisces and this is also connecting to next eclipse season second half of 2024 late september i think it's late september i actually have no fucking clue but when we have the full moon in pisces that's going to be a lunar eclipse it's actually activating a cycle that's going to be playing out for the next like what year year and a half two years i'm not quite sure how long the north south node will be in pisces virgo but this is the start or this well this is leading up to this new cycle that you will be part of for the next like two years and it's going to be a very interesting time for you so right now again it's about finding the balance between your practical side your logical side versus your spiritual emotional intuitive side like trying to find the middle ground trying to find your equilibrium which can be a little bit challenging at first and there's a lot that's fluctuating so really just allowing the current to take you where you're meant to be and then we have a new romantic cycle begins new moon in libra so this is really connected to six months from now when we are in the second half of eclipse season picking up when we where we are right now and all the changes all the events all the decisions choices people that we're dealing with right now it's connecting to six months from now and six months from now we have like i said the lunar eclipse in pisces and this and the solar eclipse in libra <laughs> which is right here this is indicating like the events, the decisions, the choices that you make in this month are going to be significant six months from now, or it's going to be continuing out. So this is a big deal. This is a big fucking cycle. Okay? And the full moon eclipse at the bottom. Conclusions are within reach. So I'm seeing, like, from now to, again, it's, I think it's sometime in September when we have that full moon eclipse. 
um, this cycle will have been closed out. All right, this is a big cycle. This is not something that's just going to happen overnight, most likely. So give yourself the time, give yourself the patience, give yourself just like, I am seeing like a new cycle is beginning. And for some of you, this is in love or a new cycle in your love life is like ending new beginning type shit. Okay. So let's keep going. What do my Pisces need to know about April 2024? What does April have in store for Pisces? What can my Pisces expect throughout this month? We got the Seven of Wands is your first card out. Okay, what's going on for Pisces in April 2024? Three of Swords. You feeling vulnerable right now? Or feeling very emotional, very sensitive? Emotions running high, death, okay? Because you're going through a lot of changes. A lot of releasing, a lot of acceptance. But it's not easy. Tell me more. What's going on for Pisces in the month of April? We have, oh, five of cups. Damn, Pisces. I'm sending you lots of love. I'm sending you a big hug. Like, whatever you're going through, you will get through this. You will cross this bridge. There is something you can gain from this, even if it's hard to see it right now. What's going on for Pisces? Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm seeing that you'll reach some sort of freedom, some sort of independence. <sighs> you'll find a way to work this out. Ace of Wands. Yeah, new start, new cycle, new beginning. I'll check the bottom of the deck in a little bit, okay? So yeah, starting off with the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands, you're feeling a little bit on guard, having a hard time trusting, maybe even having a hard time having faith with the situation that's at your, at hand, right? Um, Seven of Wands with that Three of Swords. You're feeling pretty vulnerable. You're feeling pretty sensitive. And you may, you know, kind of be trying to protect and defend your heart right now trying to protect yourself from potentially getting more hurt more disappointed more upset you're going through a lot of changes like whatever it's like a lot of emotional stuff that is currently on your plate and well i see things are going to get better for you okay three of swords and death this pain that you're going through at this moment or this loss or this suffering or this mourning that you're going through it is something that's going to improve over the weeks and we have scorpio energy out here with death and we have the full moon in scorpio on the 23rd of april so even by the 23rd you're probably gonna feel a lot better but at the same time because we have death we have the five of cups it's like whatever these changes are like you're sad about like you're sad about this change you're sad about something that's like different or it's not the same as it used to be or like like it's still showing here with that five of cups like there's still something standing not all has been lost like there's still things that you can be thankful for grateful for like it's not all doomsday it's not all garbage <laughs> but like you know your emotions are val valid and you're feeling some pretty intense pretty heavy things it's very like whew, it's crazy but this is helping you learn more about yourself you're growing you're expanding this is helping you become more confident become more independent become healthier like you know like and i'm seeing here ace of wands like there's this sense of freedom where there's a sense of like i don't know like I, I do see there's this excitement for the future i do see like even if you're kind of feeling this heavy energy right now like they're going to be very optimistic about these new cycles or new changes or new paths that are opening up for you new doors that are opening up for you there is going to be a lot of optimism a lot of joy that you experience um you just kind of have to get through some of the rocky stuff first Whew. so queen of wands at the bottom five of swords five of wands ten of cups sun leo energy seven pentacles you're, like you're waiting for things to get better <laughs> waiting for things to improve by the way you've had five 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 uh in your reading and five in numerology is change drastic significant change um and so let's see queen of wands the five of swords five of wands like typically the queen of wands she's very loving she's very understanding she's very patient 
Um, but there is a bit of this bitterness with this Five of Swords. Five of Swords, Five of Wands. Like, there is... The, I see, like, you're trying to remain peaceful or, like, kind, caring, loving, open, supportive, Ten of Cups, but yet there's this struggle. Or there's, like, a bit of, like, a... There's a bit of a block that's preventing this natural flow. That's like, that's like the easiest way to put it. There's this, there's maybe, you know, there's been a lot of arguing or a lot of drama or like not seeing eye to eye, a lot of harsh words being thrown around, um, fighting, things like that. It's just, and it's like, there's love here, Ten of Cups, but at the same time, it's not the most smooth or it's not the most peaceful or it's not the, it's not completely enjoyable. Like, there's, there's things about this that you're like, okay, yeah, I really like this. I really appreciate this. Like, I really, you know, I love, respect this thing. But then when this comes in, it just kind of gets in the way. It blocks the flow from this peace, love, and harmony with the Ten of Cups. And so underneath the Ten of Cups is the Seven of, Cups, seven of Pentacles, where it's kind of like this is Seven of Pentacles in the Sun, where it's like you're kind of hoping, waiting for things to improve or giving things time to grow or develop or get better but um so we have the fool underneath that and the six of wands and the two of cups hmm i don't know there's so there's so many cards honestly <laughs> i need to stop looking at the bottom like now we're going way too deep we're going way too deep underneath the bottom i'm gonna get all confused okay well let's do some clarifying let's see so let's see, okay, so the Seven of Wands, Three of Swords. So you're feeling on guard, you're feeling vulnerable, you're feeling emotional, you're feeling extremely sensitive, heart strings being pulled, um, maybe regretful, or fearing of regretting some sort of change that is in the process. Seven of Wands, Three of Swords. You, you know, there's something about because the seven of wands this is mars energy right so mars is all about planet of action and force all right what you are being pushed towards and then with the three of swords we have saturn energy which is all about structures boundaries rules and regulations so that's like you're needing to you're taking some sort of action but it's really needing firm boundaries firm structure firm rules That's hard. It's like, I'm getting no pain, no gain. <laughs> no pain, no gain. Okay. So, Seven of Wands, Three of Swords for Pisces. I'm hearing Virgo for some reason. Seven of Wands and the Three of Swords. Let's see. King of Wands reversed and the Two of Swords reversed. So, this is that indie energy from earlier where you're just like, okay, you're kind of questioning, you know, which path do I go down? What action do I take? You're kind of showing up here a bit inconsistent or a bit flighty or a bit like, I don't know, you're confused with your intentions, and this King of Wands reverse, it is he's kind of a player. Alright? He's kinda of, so it's like Are you playing yourself? <laughs> are you playing yourself, Pisces? Are you you're questioning? You're having some sort of doubt. Five of Swords, self-doubt. Five of Swords coming out again in this reading. Talk about the Seven of Swords. Oh sorry, not Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, Three of Swords for Pisces nine of wands and like you're trying to keep it together the sun trying to trying to keep it together trying to remain optimistic trying to stay positive trying to move forwards with the fool oops oh my gosh <laughs> these cards this kept falling out the fool kept falling on my hand someone keeps slipping through your fingers is what i'm hearing from this like you're here you are trying to remain optimistic about the future and this action you're taking this new path this new direction right you might also need some space to be alone or be by yourself or like check in with yourself hermit and strength leo energy coming out and virgo energy coming out but so clarifying that seven of wands and three of swords it's just like you are in this stage where you're just kind of like questioning some sort of decision if it's going to harm you like you're questioning okay if i make this choice if i follow through this path this action if i do this thing is this something i'm going to regret later on is this something that I'm going to... Like, you know, like your question... Okay, so that's why it's so important that you don't just, like, rush into whatever this choice is. Give it time. 
really feeling that strongly and also while your emotions are running high because they are running high as fuck like seriously they are at an all-time high right now this is not if obviously you know i don't know your situation circumstance you know you might be forced to make a decision like asap but if you can give yourself time if you have the if you have the freedom to kind of sit this out or not sit this out but just like sit on this for a moment and kind of get your shit together <laughs> not out of wands like tighten up a little bit um and really stand your ground like what are your expectations what are your boundaries what what is it that you're fighting for exactly is this worth the effort that you're putting in like you know give yourself a little bit more time you might also need a break right you're really 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 trying to make something work or to keep it together maybe you might just need a freaking break okay let's clarify death what is changing for pisces what is changing for pisces in april 2024 That's too many. Ten of Swords trying to flip out though. Ending of some sort. High Priestess. This is something you've intuitively felt coming. To, okay, ha uh, Magician. This is something that you. Two of Pentacles here. Hermit. What's oh, sticking out? The Lovers. Oh, well, look okay. at Lovers and then Seven of Wands at the top of the deck. That's what's sticking out. Four of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, Five of Wands, here we have that again. And the Eight of Swords. So it's like you're, again, like you're being pulled in two different directions. I, I know I'm repeating myself, but it keeps showing that. Like it literally keeps showing, like, you know, your intuition's guiding you through this time. And you are in this process of getting clear of where you're going and what your intentions are. But again, with the Two of Pentacles, the Magician, it's like you're being pulled in two different directions of, okay, I want to manifest this. Oh no, I actually want this. Like, you it's it's like i'm hearing you can't have both i don't know maybe you can but for some reason i'm hearing you can't have both it's either this or that like i don't know that could be what you're saying to somebody like <sighs> hermit so you need more time you need to think and reflect on this a little bit longer all right now five of cups why are you in your field why are you feeling sad why are you feeling this energy of like loss of defeat disappointment why five of cups tell me more about this energy for pisces in april damned if i do damned if i don't kind of situation like you you know maybe you're not happy with either options or either paths that you could potentially take like both of them okay so knight of cups this could be around love that you're feeling disappointed by your lover or by your love life or if you're single you're like disappointed with your options that are coming in or people just disappointing you people that you have love for just feeling constantly like i don't know just disappointed let down misunderstood by family by friends so you have the ten of pentacles knight of swords like there could be some sort of like news coming in news that you have to share with someone or someone has to share with you that could shake up a foundation or a home situation. Page of Swords. Yeah, there's some sort of news. Maybe you have news you have to break and you don't know how to go about it. Or you could get emotional. We have the Page of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, like there's a see, I see you like withholding, withholding or holding back because you're afraid or fearful. So you keep putting in the energy, you keep putting in the effort, Eight of Pentacles, hoping things will change. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, death, putting in the energy. And so because you want some sort of change, you want there to be reciprocation and balance and more fairness, and more love. Yeah, you're wanting more reciprocation in your relationship here, Ace of Cups. And so you're, you've been like putting in a lot more effort. So if, if this is about a relationship and you're putting in more effort and you're wanting things to be more reciprocated... I'm assuming you're doing that because you haven't been putting enough effort in and the other person's been putting in more effort than you. Otherwise, if you are wanting more reciprocation, you're like, okay, I'm going to put in more effort because there's not like, but if it's unrequited and the other person isn't putting in as much effort as you, by you putting in double the effort, that's not going to fix things. Like it's got to be mutual or like, so I, I'm only seeing like it, this could work if you haven't been showing up and putting in the effort 
and now's the time, then things could probably change. But if, like, you've been putting in the effort and the other person hasn't, Ace of Cups, like, I don't know. Yeah, look, Ace of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Like, this looks kind of like, if you want a new start, you can. But it looks like this is going to require a lot of work. Like, is it too late? Queen of Pentacles, Hangman Reverse. Maybe not. Seven of Cups, maybe. Maybe so. It's kind of up in the air right now. It's kind of hard to pinpoint. There's a lot. Hmm. You might actually need to rely or, like, lean on friends, family for support during this time. All right, let me just see what this new cycle is. The, the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. This is where you're getting your independence. This is where you're really, like, standing strongly on your own two feet. And you're feeling more confident and more assured of the path, the direction, the choices that you're making. So Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. This is where I'm seeing you are getting your strength to start something new. Let's see what fell out. We have the Eight of Cups Reverse and the Queen of Swords Reverse. Hmm. I'll show you that in a second. Talk about the Nine of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands for Pisces. Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Three of Wands and the Three of Cups. And the Ace of Swords at the bottom. Temperance. And the tower. Okay, so I'm seeing this shake up. I am seeing a change. Because there is a, pit, a, bleh, a situation from the past here that you're having difficulty moving away from. You're having a difficult time moving on from or walking away, doing things differently. Like there is this attachment here. And with this Queen of Swords universe, this is Libra energy. But I'm seeing like you're getting fed up or you're getting annoyed or you're getting really frustrated. Um, like, oh my God, I'm here again. Like, how does this keep happening to me? Or how do I keep allowing this thing to happen or occur? Or I keep doing this to myself or whatever, right? And so this Queen of Swords is just like, oh my God, am I stupid? Like, am I blind? Like, <laughs> something like that. Um, like, she's kind of harming herself. Like, you see that she holds this blade and she's kind of like digging it into her feet upright. She's not. She's precise. She knows what she's doing. She's harming herself, right? So it's like, there's something here you're noticing has been harmful to you three of wands and the three of cups this is where you need to reevaluate who you surround yourself with your friends family lovers people that you are close to or share your personal space with on a day-to-day -day basis like this is where it's time to reevaluate and make some sort of plan and this is a group plan or this is involving you and someone else or a group of people ace of swords at the bottom so it's important that you're honest it's important that you are straightforward it's important that you know you're fair and that there's fairness with how you're being treated um then we have temperance to the tower so the, although this is like a big shake up this is something that is bringing in more peace more clarity more calm more reciprocation more balance and also the king of pentacles and then the moon reverse so like again i'm seeing something's being revealed or even your emotions could be reaching a peak five of cups to the moon reverse could be reaching a peak around the eclipse in pisces oh shit oh no oh what <laughs> i was to say the in the eclipse in aries on the eighth but okay for something about the eclipse in pisces next not not even next year not even next year, literally second half of 2024. But yes, next year too. Next year too. I don't know. There's something about how this situation may be correlating to events in 2025. I don't fucking know, y'all. This may be a slow process, Knight of Pentacles. This may be something that is slowly unfolding, not over months, but over the next year or so. So just a heads up. But I am seeing changes, changes that bring you more peace, or you're at peace with this change. You're at peace with this shakeup. You're at peace with this. Like you feel good about it because it's on your terms, or it's on, it's like what you ask for, you get, or whatever it is that you are standing up for putting your foot down it's like i see you getting it or i don't know i i see like it's all working out for you so i think we'll just leave your reading there <laughs> i hope this is helpful and insightful pisces i appreciate you i hope you have a very beautiful day i will catch you in your next reading let me know if this is helpful and insightful um if you'd like to book a private reading with me the info's in the description box down below i'm gonna let you go take care pisces